welcome to the project demonstration of night patrolling surveillance robots so this is the second version of our previous project so previously we did the project with four sound sensors in four sides along with front camera to send the images uh, through the mail and in this version we added the three more cameras to cover the four sides and gsm modem along with gps so that we will get the location of this particular robot whenever the threat is detected in surrounding regions and the robot will move to that direction for example if any sound is detected front side it will move uh, front side in 5 seconds and then it will start capturing the images and parallelly it will sending the sms that particular sms consists of the location values so these four cameras are interfaced to the UNO board. So here we are using ordinary UNO, so which will controlling the inputs and output modules. Inputs are four sound sensors and GPS, and output modules are GSM modem and four uh, two DC motors. And those DC motor direction will be controlled through this L293D motor driver. And also output modules are four ESP32 cameras. So here before switching on this kit, we need to insert a valid SIM card into the GSM modem. So better to use Airtel or VI other than Geo. And after inserting the SIM card into the GSM modem and then changes the uh, do hotspot setting changes. So right, hotspot setting changes. So change the hotspot name to project 4843 without any space, without any capital letter and set the password for 12345678 so after do the uh, this changes enable the hotspot along with data done right so enable the hotspot and now initially switch on the power supply to the arduino after initialization of the gsm modem then only make a input to the sensors and switch on the power supply to the uh, ESP32 cameras. So this one is the battery which we are using 12 volt battery which is a rechargeable battery. So to recharge that battery so this one is the battery connector for the 12 volt battery and this is for the charging uh, to this battery then this battery is power supply for the uh, ESP32 cameras. So in order to charge this battery connect the battery here and switch on the power supply to the transformer it will be fully charged in 8 to 12 hours maximum after the time completion you can disconnect the power supply and this one is directly you can connect to the usb slot of your laptop or a charger and this one is the on off switch for the usb 32 cameras so initially switch on the arduino you know and then we can see one light is So there is a one light is blinking in the GSM modem. See right when it blinks slowly till that hold the reset switch of our Arduino you know. So once it got the signal then only we should allow the you know to communicate with the GSM modem and then before releasing that on the power supply to this ESP32 cameras. Right I switched on that and wait for some time there we can see the devices are connected so here we can see the five device four device connected so in that four are esp32 cameras only and then fully restart watch so if i make the sound this side and the robot is moving left and will move forward again after five seconds it stops over there and they'll get the beep alert continuously and the system will send the gmail Males. So here we will get the new emails. Right. So we got the mails like ESP32 camera, right camera, left camera, back camera, and front camera. So it's keep on sending that. So this one is right camera of the robot. So we can see this same visualization. So and the system will keep on sending the messages. So we will get the messages also. So as of now we are demonstrating the project under the sky view. That's why we are getting a 0 0 values here. So when we demonstrate this under the sky view, indoor no GPS value, 
under the sky view we will get the exact location values of this particular robots.